Hey guys, welcome back to Black Creek Digital. And in today's tutorial, I want to show you how to make this super cute wavy font that is very popular right now uh, using the free Inkscape program. Uh, as always, I will have the link to the download for Inkscape in the description and also the link for the font that I used in the video. And it's really actually pretty simple. And um, let's just get straight to it. All right, we're going to scroll down. And we're going to zoom in some. And I'm going to go up here to my document properties. And we're just going to kind of change the size of my document here because I like to make all my designs in uh, at least 3600 by 3600 pixels. So let's get to it now that we have that. You're going to go over here to our edit uh, text tool and we're just going to click on the screen and we're going to do similar to the one in the thumbnail and we're going to do, oh, I already got the caps lock on, it's in all capital letters. And we're just going to do good for right now. And we're going to make this a little bigger so you can see. And we're going to bring back our little box here. And we're going to go up here to our text and font. And the text or font that I used is this abstract movie. And we're just going to click on that. And we're going to go over here to apply. Okay, and we're going to get this out of the way. And basically, since we've done this one, we're just going to duplicate, which you right click and go to duplicate. And we're going to double click on this and it gives us our uh, text little box again. And we're going to do vibes. Okay. And uh, here's a little shortcut key. You can hold down control and D. And that actually duplicates uh, you know, whatever you have selected. It's just a little shortcut key. You can also still go right click and go here to duplicate. If you see here, it actually tells you all of your shortcut keys uh, for your particular options. Okay. All right. So let's again, double click on this one, backspace, and we're going to do link. Okay. And we're going to back up over here to our selector tool. And we're going to get the words as close as we want them. And we're going to select all of our words. We're going to bring our little box back open. We're going to go up here to align and distribute. And we're going to go down here to relative to and make sure it is on last selected. And we're just going to click here on center on vertical. Okay, and that's just going to line up all of our words. And of course, we're going to go down here to distribute, and we're going to go right here, and we're going to distribute uh, the words from each other, basically spacing them uh, correctly. All right, and now that we have that, we get that out of the way. And it's nice and straight now. Let me get it even on my, my board here. Just so y'all can see it better. And make it just a little bit bigger too. Just to help y'all see. Alright, so now once we have that, we are going to have everything selected and we're going to go up here to Path. And we're going to go right here to Object to Path. And we're going to go back to Path. And we're going to go down to Break Apart. Okay. And we're going to ungroup here which basically right click and go to ungroup. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to go right here to our edit pass by nodes tool. And we're going to click on that. And we're going to select everything. And we're going to go back up here to path. And we're going to go down here to union. All right. So basically that's going to combine everything together so we can use the path effect that we need to use to give us that wavy look. Okay, so we're going to click back on it. 
So we're going to bring back our little window here. And if you don't have this little option right here, which is your path effects, you can get back to it by going here to your path here and going down to path effects. There's multiple ways to get to certain options in Inkscape, which is really great. Um, there's even a shortcut key for it as well. But for right now, we're just going to use uh, this little uh, section that is in my window, and we're going to click on it. Again, path effects. And we're going to go down here to the plus sign, which is add the path effect. And you're going to have this window come up, and it has all kinds of different path effects options that you can choose from. Um, and you, you're more than welcome to play around with these. They do very different things. I haven't even used all of them yet. But for today's tutorial, we are going to choose this one here, which is the Lattice Deformation 2. Okay, and we're just going to click on that. And it's going to bring up this grid around our words. We'll get this out of the way. And if you can see here, and I'll zoom in, these white diamonds here is what we're going to be using to give us that wavy effect. Okay, you do not want to mess with any of the gray uh, squares that is actually to your letters. What we're going to be using is these little diamonds here. Now, if you accidentally click off, click off of it, um, and you know something happens, you just want to make sure that you're here and edit path by nodes. Okay, that's what's going to give you your nodes to play around with. Okay, so now what you're going to do is, like I said, and there's no right or wrong here. You can do it however way you like it and however you want it to look. And you're just going to hold down control while you uh, move your diamonds up or down. Okay. And that is what's giving you that wavy look. It is moving this whole thing to give you that look that you want. And like I said, just play around with it. You know, get them to go the way you want. If you mess up and you don't like, like the way it looks, you can always go right here to, and go to undo. And if uh, you just completely don't like anything that you've done, you can go back here to reset grid and it's going to put it exactly the way it was when you started. Okay? So, let's see. Let's play around with it and just get it to give me that neat wavy look that is so popular right now. And like I said, there's no right or wrong. Get it to look the way you want. And for the video, I think that's good enough. Okay, so now once we have that, what you're going to want to do is highlight everything again. And you're going to go back up here to Path. And you're going to go back to Object to Path. And then you're going to want to go to Break Apart. And depending on uh, how you want to change the colors, if you wanted to just change the color of the whole word, uh, that's what I'll show you how to do that. And also you can change each letter if you wanted to, like I have in this one here. Um, it's just two different uh, ways of doing that. And let's just start off with doing the word first. And what you're going to want to do is um, you're going to want to select all of these. And you, there's a shortcut key, which is Control K. And we're just grouping everything back together, basically. Um, you're combining it back together with your path and you're going to go to combine, okay? So you're just going to highlight that word. If you, if you highlight anything else, just you can hold down shift and unselect those. And again, path, combine, or you can highlight the word and just do control K, okay? And there you go. It gets uh, everything 
uh, connected. You have your little dots back and everything. And now you can just click each word and go in and change your colors. Super cute, super easy. Um, again, you're just selecting all of them and you are combining them for the whole word to be able to change the colors, okay? Now, let's go back. Now say you just wanted to change the colors of each letter like I had in this one here. And how to do that is basically the same thing except for you're just going to have to do it for each letter, okay? So select your letter and hit Control K. Do it for the next one. Control K. Unselect anything you accidentally select. Control K. These down here get a little tricky because it wants to grab everything. All right, Control K. Ah, this is what I had the hardest time. All right. Control K. Select that one. It takes a little longer to do it this way, but it's super cute if you can get, you know, all the letters to be a different color as well. And like I said, it just takes a little bit more time. I combined. And anytime you make a mistake, just go back to um, two. Don't think we have to do those because it doesn't have any of that. Yeah, I don't think it has any of those little dots on those. Okay, so now we'll just choose the colors from here. And basically you can just click on each letter and change each one to the color you want. Again, super easy. Gives you that look. Um, and like I said, just play around with it. You can just, let's just do this for the video. We'll just choose the color for all of them. Let's do that. I like that better. Okay. So there you go. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, that's how you get that cute, uh, popular, wavy font that is going around right now. Um, super easy. And I hope you like the video. I hope it helps you guys out. And please make sure to like and subscribe. I'm getting very close to 1,000 subscribers, so I really appreciate it. And it just helps me to be able to make videos like this and help you guys out. All right. Um, I really appreciate it. And thank you for watching. And I will see y'all next time.